Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time joining us, thank you so much for stopping by. We normally talk about careers here and how to get you one that leads to more time, money, and freedom. I've been getting a lot of questions recently asking me to back up just a little bit and talk about how to choose that career. So on this video, we're gonna talk about five questions you can use to choose the right career for you. Let's jump right into it. So you're already in a career or you're in college and you're thinking about going into a different career, wherever you are on that path as a young professional, these questions are some things I think that we can constantly revisit regardless of where we are on that process. So the first question I want us to think about as you're trying to choose the right career for you is what do you believe? I'm not talking about your passions and the things that make you excited and all that kind of stuff. Start here. Start with what do you actually believe? What are you about? What are the values that if you had to compromise these things, they would make you very uncomfortable? What are the things that you believe inside your core? That you believe about other people? That you believe about yourself? The things you believe about money? The things you believe about family? What do you actually believe? Spend some time right there investigating that because when it comes time to choose that career or you have a job offer or you're thinking about where to apply, these things are gonna be crucial as you think about which companies or different uh, organizations actually line up with the things that you believe. Take some time and really investigate the things that you believe and make sure you are clear on the things that matter most to you because that's gonna make a difference when you're trying to choose which company, which organization, which group to become associated with because you wanna make sure that you're not putting yourself in the middle of an organization where you're forced to compromise on the things that you believe deeply inside your core. Or maybe you actually do need to compromise on some of these things and grow, but all that can be done a lot more easily, a lot more cleanly if you understand first what you believe. The second thing I want us to think about is what problem do you want to solve? Now, when you start here, this is gonna make life a lot easier down the road when you're struggling for clarity and you're struggling to figure out how you can make money and all these different things. Start here. What problem do you wanna solve? What is it out there in the world that bothers you the most? What is it that you see and you think to yourself, man, I wish I could find a solution to that or I think I can find a solution to that or I wouldn't mind committing my time, committing my life, committing my energy to solving that problem for people. So you want to think about what problem do you want to solve? The third one is who do you want to serve? We talked about what you believe, we talked about what the problem is that you want to solve. Now we want to think about who you want to serve. Who's going to be your tribe? Who would you like to serve more than anyone else in the world? Which group of people, which group of consumers, customers, which group of people would you like to serve more than anything else? Who do you resonate with? Who is your message and your life and the things that you think about, the things you believe and the problem you want to solve? Who do you want to focus on? to make that career magical. Because if you try to go in the beginning and say, oh, I wanna build a career that focuses on everybody, I wanna heal the world and make it a better place, that's a lot That's a lot to do in a lifetime. That's a lot to do in a lifetime, especially if you're trying to do it on your own. But really hone in on figuring out who you wanna serve, and that's gonna inform you a lot better as you try to choose that right career for you. The fourth part, and this is getting down now to how you actually start choosing that job or choosing which kind of company you want to create, is how do you want to deliver that solution, right? We talked about this, the problem that you want to solve, who you want to solve it for. How do you want to deliver that solution? Is it a product that you're going to create? Is it a service you want to give? Is it something else that you want to talk about, an informational thing that you want to do? How do you want to deliver that solution? What, what, what format is it going to be in? Is it going to be in the form of research where you need other people to get this done? Are you going to go and do it on your own where you're out there kind of you know solo solopreneuring it and trying to make it happen for a while? So start thinking about the way that you want to deliver that solution. And when you start thinking about the way you want to deliver the solution, that's going to start making choices for you on where you want to live, the kinds of places that you can go live in the world, the things you can do. Because not every country or every region, every market is suited to every kind of distribution that you might want to do. So start thinking about how you want to deliver that solution. The last one is, I think, one of the most important. Really think about how you want to live. Think about how you want to live. Think about the lifestyle that you want to create that would mean a lot for you and your family 
Do you want to be inside a big office? Does that mean a lot to you? Sure, no problem. I'm not one of those people who, as you know, who goes around uh, you know, demonizing people who want to have a big office and saying, no, you should be an entrepreneur. If that's important to you, great, but make sure you're clear about it. Do you want to be on a beach somewhere with a laptop? <laughs> Do you want to be on a beach somewhere without a laptop? Do you want to be flexible? Do you enjoy travel or do you hate travel? Think about how you want to live. Think about the income level that you would need to live at to make yourself comfortable and enjoy life. Because a lot of folks want to you know, skirt around the issue and say, oh, I just want to go into this particular career. Well, listen, if you know you're the kind of person that really enjoys the luxurious things, if you're big onto the fancy stuff in life and you want to travel first class all the time, then be realistic about it. Be realistic and say, okay, this is the kind of life I wanna live, this matters to me, this is the comfort level I wanna be at, and you can start choosing a career that leads down that path. Or, if it's not something that normally leads down that path easily, be prepared to know that you have to be the innovator to make something new and do that career in a new way that can create that path. So those are the five questions I have today that I think you can think about as you go on trying to choose that right career for you. Question of the day, what is the biggest struggle you have in choosing the right career and what's the best advice you've probably been given before on how to choose a right career? If you got value from this video, please give us a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be sure to be notified when we put out new videos. This is Dallin Vanderpool from Focus the Fire podcast, encouraging you to push past average, grab hold of amazing. Have a powerful week.